so this is continuing on with question number eight. Uh, now we're going to do part B, which is down here. It says show that the length BM is five centimeters. Okay, so we've got the same uh, diagram here. Okay, let me just get rid of this. I know we want to find the length BM. Okay, you want to show that it's five centimeters. Well, we can do that pretty easily because um, if we take this point as a midpoint of AB, that's four centimeters. This would be a right angle. It's like this is like the, um, or we can do it actually in an in even e in easier way. We can think, imagine we're looking at this prism from above, this prism, this pyramid, sorry, from above. Okay, you'll see this rectangular base. Okay, you see this rectangular base, and you can see that all the corners, as it's a rectangle, are right angles. Okay, so what you'll see on in front of you is something that looks like this. Okay, look something like this. That's eight and that's six. These are right angles here. And this is a length from D to B. Okay, all the way across there. All right. What we want to find is the length from B to M, which is half of D to B. So if you find what D to B is, we find what BD is, we can then find BM, right? So we can see that DB is part of this um, right angle triangle DAB, okay, and we know this is H, we know this is 6, this is AD is 6, the same as DC because it's a rectangle, because sides are the same, so I can find what DB is, okay, so if I take this diagram, this part, and I move it down, oops, missed, if I take this diagram and I cut and I paste it over here, let's see if I can move it. Yes. Okay. Now we have what we need. We need to find, we can find what BD is. Okay. BD is part of this right angle triangle. So I can say BD is by Pythagoras, it's the hypotenuse. So it's the square root of 6 squared plus h squared. Sum of the square of the two shorter sides. Well, that's going to give me 10 centimeters because you're going to have 36 plus 64 is 100. The square root of 100 is 10. That means BM is a half of BD, okay, because it's exactly halfway along. It's where the, the diagonals intersect. The diagonals bisect each other in a rectangle. So it's cut in two equal halves. So that's a half of 10. So therefore, you can say BD is equal to 5 centimeters. Okay, I could have done that with uh, part A, actually. Anyway, so I'm going to go to part C now, which is over here. Okay, now, um, part C of the same question. I've just copied the same diagram and made it a bit smaller. So we, so far, we know uh, we know this is 5, for example, right? It's five. We just proved that's 5. We also know the angle P and M. If we need it, I can go back and get it. Now, it says calculate the angle between the edge PB and the base ABCD. So basically, they want you to find this angle here. The angle between a line and a plane is the angle between the line and the shadow of that line as if it would fall on that plane. If, you, if the light shining from above, perpendicular to the plane, where if there was a stick up for going from P to B, that shadow would fall along this line here. Okay, so we're looking at this triangle, this right angle triangle. That's P, that's M, that's B. We know that's 5. We're trying to find this angle, and we know this is 9 centimeters. And the angle we need, we can use opposite over adjacent. Again. So we can say the tangent of the angle we need is going to be the opposite of the adjacent. So X is going to be inverse tan of 9 over 5. So x is going to be calculator. It's very similar to the last question. 9 over 5. That's 60.945. 60.945. Okay. <clears throat> so that's 60.9 degrees. There's no specification about any rounding, so it should be one decimal place at a certain angle. 60.9 degrees is your answer. Okay, so that's part, uh, question A, part C. 
and I'll do A part D on its own. I think it's quite a long question. Okay, so um, that will be in a separate video. Thank you for listening.